Hi and welcome back to getting the best from your graphics exam. Um, this session is about graphics draw. Oh, whoops, sorry, graphics drawing modes, and in particular, um, this session is about um, the advanced part of it. I, I guess uh, we're identifying des uh, graphics drawing modes in existing drawings. So if you're interested in some of the other videos. Uh, they cover design principles and color theory, and there's also one planned for third angle orthographic, um, a little bit about um, the conventions involved in that. Um, but right now we're going to talk about graphics drawing modes and how to identify them in drawings. So let's go and have a look at that. All right, so here we've got a painting uh, by an artist called Canaletto from, uh, well, it's old. Um, and so our job is to find out well, what sort of drawing is this, or what sort of painting is this, what sort of graphics mode is this, or what's it closest to, I suppose we could also say. Now, if you don't know what the options are, so what sort of graphics modes there are, you need to go back and have a look at um, the earlier videos that describe the graphics modes. Um, so you should be able to um, create yourself a list of five possible ones that it could be. So I'm just going to um, write them down here, oblique, so it might be oblique, it might be isometric, it might be planimetric, it might be one point perspective, and it might be two point perspective. All right, so these are the five different drawing modes that you need to be able to identify. So if you're like, well, I'm not really sure what oblique means or what is isometric or I'm not really sure what a planimetric is, you need to go back and actually have a look at the videos that I've done previously, um, the ones on um, parallel projections and um, perspective projections. So um, if you've got a clear idea of what these different um, modes are, and you want to now start you know, putting that into practice. So here we've got a drawing. Let's see what this might be, right? what it's likely to be. So um, we're going to be doing some drawing over the top of this drawing, or over this painting, and we're going to start to identify what the likelihood is of what this is. So, so the first thing I want to look for is, is there any true shapes? So is there any rectangles that are that things that we know to be rectangles that are actually rectangles or circles that are actually circles and things like that. So we can see here that actually there is. If you look at that there, that looks pretty much like a square or a rectangle, some version of a rect uh, uh, a rhomboid, I suppose you could call it. Um, these are right angles in here. They look like right angles. Now it might not be perfect, but it's pretty close. The same over here. Now, so we do have so we've got a front a true shape, which is basically a, sh a surface that's facing us. It's the front facing surface. So, if that's the case, which one of these th um, five different modes can we rule in, and which ones can we rule out? I'll just let you have a little think about that. So here's what it turns out. So. Oblique is still in, because remember, oblique is a rectangle at a 45 degree angle, where this is true shape. All right, so that's still in. Isometric is out, because if you remember, isometric, you're looking at the corner and there's no true shapes there. Planimetric, well, so this is interesting. Planimetric has a true shape, but it's a true shape that is a top view, so the top or the plan is true shape in a planimetric, so that's out. Uh, also isometric is out. What about one point perspective, is that still in? Well yes, if you think about it, a one point perspective is you're looking at the front of it and then the rest of it goes to a vanishing point somewhere over here, so therefore planimetric is still in. What about two point perspective, is that still in? Well, if you remember, two-point perspective, you've got one, you're looking at the corner, and then it goes back towards your vanishing points, 
so there's no true shapes. So therefore, two-point perspective is out. All right, so I'm just going to rub out some stuff so that we can move on. So we've established that the two possibilities are either it's an oblique or it's a one-point perspective. So it could be an oblique, it's not an isometric, not a planimetric, could be a one-point perspective or a two-point perspective. So let's get rid of that. Uh, oblique, it could be... I don't seem to be able to rub that out, but anyway, that's fine. Uh, let me just rub those out, so like that. Uh, it's not planimetric, it's not two-point perspective. So is it one-point perspective or is it oblique? So then the next thing is, so we've got this front surface, now, as the object goes away from us, so this, let's look at this piece of building here, as it goes away from us, are these lines parallel, or are they going towards a single point? Well, it seems like they're going towards a single point, doesn't it? We'll go over here as well, and that's going towards some sort of single point here. So it's in this sort of general, general area. If you look at this part here, that's sort of suggesting something else, but in general... In a general sense, that is pretty close to going to a vanishing point somewhere here. So that means that it's not oblique, and that leaves one point perspective. Right? And so if we think about it, it does kind of make sense. It's rectangular front going towards a vanishing point, and um, this part is true shape. So that's it. So this one, it turns out, is a one point perspective. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so what is this? So again, we've got our list of possibilities. Isometric, oblique, planimetric, one point, and two point. So again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for some rectangles, some actual rectangles that we know to be actually rectangles, and that are actually rectangles in this drawing. So immediately this comes to mind. So here is a rectangle. This is an actual rectangle. This is an actual rectangle. So there's lots of them, right? You know, this little table here. And in fact, when you look at the whole plan of it, that's pretty much a square. Right, so, so the thing, so anything that doesn't have a true shape, or Sorry, so all of these are true shape. So anything that doesn't have a true shape is now out. So isometric, remember, doesn't have a true shape. Uh, oblique does, so that's still in. Planimetric does, so that's still in. One-point perspective does, so that's still in. Two-point perspective doesn't, so that's out. So it leaves oblique, planimetric, and one-point perspective. So of these, only one of them, the planimetric, has a plan that is true shape. So where you're looking down on the object and it's true shape. So that's it. So that is a planimetric drawing. Very simple. Right? Now, how do we know that it's not an isometric? We know it's not an isometric because, the ang because of these angles here. If you think about that, that looks like a 90 degree angle. Now, even although this is not 45, 45, this is a variation on the planimetric where We've got 30 here, 30 degrees here, and 60 degrees here. So that means you've got 60 plus 30 is 90, and 90 in here. So that is a so it's a variation on the planimetric. Um, so that means that it doesn't have to be like this, where we've got 45 and 45. What's most crucial is that this here is a right angle, or 90 degrees these angles actually we can change. So that's it. It's a planimetric. Very simple. All right, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, good. So here are some drawings of some sort of electronic, well, I suppose uh, some switching systems, uh, lots of different drawings. Maybe they're different types of modes. Who knows? Let's have a look. So the first thing that we're going to look at, uh, so again, we're going to write our list here. So isometric, oblique, planimetric, uh, one point, and two point. So the first thing we're going to look at, look for is 
is there any rectangles that we or any objects that we know to be rectangles and that actually look like rectangles in this drawing? So if you look at this, we know that this should be a rectangle in real life. Right? Now, is that actually a rectangle? Let me just move it out of the off the um off the drawing. Oh, let me see if I can do this. No, I don't seem to be able to. Never mind. Um but anyway, so I'll redraw it over here. Right, so that's that same shape. Right, we can see that that is not a rectangle, so therefore it's not true shape. So, so we've established that there are no true shapes in here, or at least we can't see any. I, I, I th I'm going to say that there isn't any. So if you look at that, not a rectangle, that, not a rectangle, you know, this is also not a rectangle, nor is this. So we're basically going to say there's no true shapes. So true shapes, no. So what does that rule out? So isometric could still be isometric, because in isometric there are no true shapes. Oblique, that's out, because there's no rectangle that's facing us um, square on. Planimetric's also out, because the plan, this, the top view is not true shape, so that's out. One point perspective, again, the front is not facing us, so it's not one point perspective. What about two point perspective? Well, it could be that, because remember, two point perspective is basically that. We're looking at the corner of something, we're looking at the corner of this, and then it goes back. So it could be two point perspective. So two point perspective and isometric are still in. Right, so now, which one of those two is it? So if we look at this, the next question is, do the lines that go into the page, are they parallel, or are they going to some vanishing point somewhere? Now, according to me, it seems pretty clear that these are intended to, whether they actually are completely parallel, these seem to be intended to be parallel. You can see there's no clear vanishing points anywhere. You could say that off, way, way off in the distance somewhere over here, there might be a vanishing point, and also way, way off in the distance over here. But essentially we can say, look, these are all at 30 degrees. At 30 degrees. And 30 degrees here. So there's not really any vanishing points, so that means that two-point perspective is out. And because it's these nice 30 degree lines, we can say that this is isometric. Alright, so that's it. So isometric drawings, pretty straightforward. Alright, let's move on.